In the last video, I covered the Black & Decker Personal Blender. You saw the Ninja in the background. I promised to do a separate review, and I'm also going to compare the two uh, today. So one of the things we spoke about uh, were the jars or the, um, the cups. I mentioned how 20 ounces is um, important to get. And I'll, you can watch the video in terms of why, but just so you know, uh, both the Black & Decker and the Ninja come with, um, this is 60, it goes up to years 20, uh, comes with, sorry, comes with their 20 ounce uh, jars. Actually, depending on how you buy it, they come in different kits. Um, this was, Black & Decker only comes with two, jar, two uh, you know, jars, or, uh, or whatever they want to call them, cups, uh, <laughs> bottles. Um, and they both come with flip top lids, fits in your car, car holder. The Ninja can be sold with just two 60 or 20 ounce bottles, uh, or you can also get it with uh, a dressing. And the difference between the dressing one is that obviously it's a smaller bottle and it comes with this special lid that you can just basically flip open to pour over. Make your dressing in here, that's it. Uh, Ninja also comes with these flip top lids. But in addition, it's got a storage lid, which is basically a flat top, it fits like that. And it's actually more convenient than you think because you don't have the added height, it fits in your refrigerator easy. Um, and if you're taking it with you in a bag or something, it's definitely secure. Other major differences, um, here's the biggest difference. We'll get to right there, to it. As I mentioned, this is not sharp. It is yet effective, go watch the video. This is the Ninja blade, and it is super sharp in certain parts. You can catch the edge here. You can see how that, the proper edge, it's got two more on top. These are real sharp, and you can see the design is completely different. This is their uh, Black & Decker Fusion blade. I'm gonna show you this in action, we'll compare them. I got the frozen fruit, and I got the ice test, which is now starting to melt. Uh, so I'm gonna get through this real quick. Power-wise, Ninja goes up to 900 watts, and uh, this is only 275 watts. However, again, watch the video, it's still effective, but we'll compare them today. A couple of tips uh, on the Ninja. So, or this is also a difference. When you use the Black & Decker Fusion, you screw on the uh, blade, flip it on, and as you know, in the other thing, there's a power switch. You hold this down, as opposed to the uh, Ninja where you actually have to press it down and for some you might think it's intimidating it looks like people are pressing really hard it's not a lot of effort but the key is when you press it down and you're holding it down here usually people uh, or I you know you can hold it from the top like this but when you're pressing it down you want to hold it down firmly uh, and same thing when you let it up don't let it up slowly just let it up right away and with both of them, you want to do intermittent spurts. I explained why in the last video, I'll show you again. Here's the reason why you, you want to press it down firmly, nothing in between firm and hard, and you want to let it up very quickly. If you don't, I discovered this the hard way, you see this brown, uh, this black in here, that's from the rubber uh, where this meets and this meets. This is the rubber piece in here, you can see that. And basically that's just the rubber rubbing, rubbing away. If it's not a firm connection, it kind of eats at it. Not a big deal, just know how to do it. It's a good tip. All right, let me get to the, uh, the fun part, the comparison. I'm gonna load this up. Now remember, it doesn't matter which what, what uh, machine you're using, whether it's a Ninja, whether it's Black & Decker, the key to all these personal blenders is you gotta use liquid with it. It doesn't matter if it's water, it doesn't matter if it's um, almond milk, it doesn't matter if it's dairy milk, any type of liquid, could be alcohol even, but it's gotta be something liquid with it or these are not gonna function right. So um, generally, you know, depending on what you make, but I think, you know, you basically make your own concoctions in terms of how liquidy you want it, how watery you want it, how much alcohol you want it, whatever it is. Um, but, um, you know, for my shakes, for example, I'll, you know, one scoop, I'll use eight ounces of water, of uh, milk. For two scoops, I'll use like 10. But that's just, you know, it's a personal thing. But for, for, for easy go, you know, I usually put, let's say, eight ounces just for standard and just to keep them even. Um, that's what I'm going to do here. I was pouring some Poland spring in the background. 
one way. <coughs> Ounces. There you go. Oh, I forgot to mention this. One of the reasons, so you wonder, why do I have two? Well, the first thing I bought was this. Then I thought, oh, I'm going to need more power to do, you know, ice and frozen fruit and stuff. Because this I just bought for my shakes primarily. In the end, after using this, if you notice, take a look at the difference in the jars. The openings. This is a much wider mouth. In comparison, I don't know if it doesn't, the camera doesn't do it justice, but that's made a very big difference. Anybody who's going to be using protein shakes or any meal replacement shakes like I do, it's a very big difference when you're trying to pour into that scooper um, because you can, otherwise the powder, first of all, it's, it's just a different size. It's, it almost takes up the whole thing. So you got to be really careful in terms of how you dump it and then you get the powder puffing up. Uh, whereas this, I can actually put this in pretty deep right away. It's just much, much easier to use. So if you ever think you're going to use any type of powder, any liquid, any I'm sorry, any kind of um, a meal replacement or uh, protein shake. Right there, there's a huge benefit to having um, the Ninja. Um, let's go. All right, so uh, about eight ounces of water there. Here's the eight ounce mark right here, if you can see it. And uh, first thing we'll do, because they're already melting, we're going to put some ice cubes. And... Uh, Whatever, two there, another one on each, and one more on each, just to see how we go. They both screw on super easy. The idea, you know, whether it's whichever one you end up purchasing, uh, these are great. One of the best tools, kitchen tools I've ever bought because they are so easy to use. You literally put whatever you want in, to screw this on, blend it for a minute or two and then you're done so um and the easy thing to wash anyway remember uh you gotta turn that click that and that's the same whereas this you just line it up uh there's some slots that line up with these and we'll give it a go and unfortunately my ice cubes are melting a bit but we're gonna get the idea here so first we'll do the fusion fusion blade on the That's after what? And Ninja. You can hear the power, but it seemed a little bit loud. And gone. So they both handle ice pretty well. There's no ice left in here, no ice left in here. And now we'll get to the fun stuff, which is the, like some frozen fruit. Um, I've got some strawberries in here. So, just so we see what's going on. Um, let's do this. So we got a little tongue here, and these are definitely frozen. Otherwise, I'd be puncturing these through. Three in there. We've got three in here. Two more here. Two more here. Two more each. Two more. And two more. I'm not afraid to load these up, neither one of them for that matter. And while we're at it, um, if you want, actually, we'll just do this separately. Because why not? And then I'll throw some frozen mango. This one, and then we're going to lock it in. Twist and. <laughs> Remember, you want to do this in spot because when you stop it, it allows whatever is up top in that vortex to fall down. That's done. 
show you that in a minute. And here's the ninja. Basically, as you can see, they're basically both working. Now, arguably, could this is this more powerful? Could it shred more ice? Yeah, but how much ice are you actually putting in there? Uh, maybe if you're making margaritas every day and frozen margaritas, that is, uh, I don't know, with, with not a lot of water or a lot of alcohol, for that matter. Um, these are uh, mango. Three there. Three here. Three more here. Three more here. Two more here. You get it. Two more. Two more. I'm not afraid to load this up. Um, and I even have two strawberries left, so one each. And not to mention, just to cut this a little bit shorter, this is frozen pineapple, which is still frozen. <laughs> uh, so we'll dump a bunch of this. In here, a bunch in here. It's cold. <laughs> you can still see the frost on there, maybe. Oop. All right, let's do it. You can hear the power difference. Uh, you can hear that this is, you know, 3x the power, but at the end of the day, Black & Decker is getting the job done. And so a lot of it actually comes down to the accessories in terms of what you need and what you're using it for. That's already done. it down firmly. One thing I mentioned in the last video, if you do have any neighbors, if you're using this in the early in the morning, you have any neighbors or animals uh, and they're sensitive, be careful. This is for households that sleep in late. All right, let me get a couple of glasses. Let's do this. Let's all compare. Now this is easy enough. You just wash that right under the water. It takes three seconds. Just wash this out and you're done. Um, they suggest not storing, uh, both companies, not storing your um, smoothie or your drink, whatever, with this lid on. So let's see how this pours out. Perfect. Perfect smoothie. No chunky bits. Here's our Ninja. Sometimes I give it a tap. Sometimes there's some air pressure buildup. You'll hear that. So give it a little tap off. So I'm not making it too much of a mess. So pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Interesting how they actually look a little different. Yeah. This looks a little frothier. Let's see, this is a lot more smooth, and that's probably because it is way more powerful. Ironically, that fusion blade um, 
maybe keeps it a little bit more chunky is not the word because there are no chunks but um, just a bit frothier I don't think I ran it for any extra time or any less time on either one um, but the point is both will uh, go right through uh, frozen fruit right through ice no no issues um, in theory, I guess uh, with with the uh, Ninja, you could have I could have done it even less if I wanted to make it a little bit frothier. But interesting to note how this actually turned out uh, arguably better if you want to make a smoothie, uh, in my opinion. But again, both do the job. One is you know uh, less than half the price of the other. Um, for me, I think that that mouth uh, is a huge deal because when you're dealing with that every morning and sometimes once, twice a day, uh, that whole scooper thing. Um, that's for me. Uh, that would that would be worth the price, uh, rather than having to deal with even more powder uh, on on the on the, on the uh, tabletops. With that in mind, when you do put any powder, whether it be this one or this one, always put the lid on and then give it a good shake. Always put the liquid in first, whether it's milk, water, and then put your powder in. Um, otherwise, it's going to stick to the sides and get clumped to the bottom but give it a shake up before so that there's no powder left on the sides and then run it through the machine. You should be good to go. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this at all helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe down below. Thank you for joining me.